Siphons almost seem like magic. They move liquid from a high point to a low point without any mechanism other than a tube. In this video, we'll be going over how siphons work, how to calculate the average velocity of a siphon, and what a siphon's limitations are. Siphons consist of a hose or pipe that is filled with water with one end in a liquid reservoir and the other end lower than the water line in the reservoir. The way the siphon works is the hydrostatic pressure causes the end with lower elevation to have a greater velocity. This causes a reduced pressure at the top of the siphon. You can think in terms of the manometer problems we previously completed. Water then flows upwards due to low pressure. The pressure at the top of the tube is lower than atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure acting on the top reservoir is pushing the water up the tube. Now let's use our friend the Bernoulli equation to solve for velocity. We can eliminate the pressure portion of the formula because atmospheric pressure is affecting both ends of the siphon. In order to solve this problem, we need to think about how potential and kinetic energy work. See my car going up and down hills video. Being there is a height decrease, we can convert potential energy at point A to kinetic energy at point B. This means that we can set potential energy equal to kinetic energy. So let's begin by rearranging the formulas. First, we notice that density is on both sides of the equation, so it can be canceled out. We then multiply times 2 and take the square root of the potential energy side of the equation. We now must plug in the height. I use the height difference between the two glasses when half full. This is 0.133 meters. This works because we are trying to find the average velocity. After we plug in all of our numbers, we get that the velocity on average is about 1.62 meters per second. This is about 6.8 kilometers per hour or about 3.6 miles per hour. The limiting factor of a siphon is the pressure at point C. If the pressure ever decreases to boiling point of the fluid, cavitation happens and the stream will be broken. This limits the height and velocity of a siphon. If a bubble of air dips into the siphon line, then the siphon will be broken and the water will stop flowing. Another limit of the siphon is that water always has to flow from a higher point to a lower elevation. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you liked this video, you might want to check out these videos as well.